All right, Glenn. Tackling Philadelphia's growing violence problem tonight, the police commissioner will hear from the people it's affected most. According to Philadelphia police, the number of homicide victims is up 31 percent compared to this time last year. Right now in southwest Philadelphia, the commissioner is meeting with the families of crime victims. NBC 10's Brandon Hudson is there now listening to their concerns. Brandon. Aaron, that roundtable is happening behind me. You can see on one side you have Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw, a few other high-ranking police officers, and Councilman Kenyatta Johnson, who just finished speaking. Now, on the other side of this roundtable, you have mothers, dads, brothers, sisters, uncles, all of whom have lost a loved one to gun violence. They want to make sure that other families in this community don't experience the same heartbreak, and they want to see some solutions. So far in 2020, Philly has had 243 homicides, 1,047 shootings. Both of those numbers are up more than 30 percent. The victims aren't just adults, but children, too. It's heartbreaking that... I'm sitting in this seat to represent my brother, but every name that is mentioned prior to mine, I knew. Uh, Councilman Kenyatta Johnson organized this event. He's trying to form an office of victim advocate to help people impacted by crime. It will be on the ballot in November. And one more thing I want to mention is there was a woman here at the roundtable who told Police Commissioner Daniel Outlaw, look, we know you got here in February, but we support you in your decisions and your ways of finding solutions to end this violence. Reporting live in Southwest Philly, I'm Brandon Hudson, NBC 10 News.